Hello and welcome to Steve's Backyard Bonsai. Today we're looking at my jacaranda forest, not because it was scheduled to be repotted. I did want to repot this one, but I wanted to repot it next spring. No, what happened to this forest in the last, well, two days ago, I was mowing the lawn and Luca was in the greenhouse. I had just put little tea bags full of the bonsai supplies, all-purpose organic fertilizer, which looks to be something that's going to be spectacular. First time using it this year. And what do you know? Luca likes the smell. Luca likes the taste. He ate 10 little organic tea bags full of organic fertilizer. He seems fine. I induced vomiting with a teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide, which works almost immediately. He went out, started eating grass, and before you know it, bleh. So I couldn't really tell the condition of the tea bags. They may have broken down already, and I don't know when it happened because I was mowing the lawn. I came in later and I saw it, and I didn't realize it. So I was scared for Luca and scared for my trees because they were all pushed in, knocked down. Some had roots exposed. I spent a long time with a, um, uh, with a chopstick trying to straighten things out. And I think I'm just going to give it a repot. I didn't want to do this. All right, so I want you to have a look at what I'm, what I'm starting out with. The trees are healthy. Some branches were knocked off, especially, I think he wanted to enter from this side. This tree I was pretty sure had died, but everything else was growing and had um, uh, nice foliage. Uh, the foliage is knocked off of these. I'm hoping these trees come back. I'm going to replant them with the exception of this one. As you can see, trees are out of alignment. They were fairly straight, but um, that's all gone now. I'll see how, I'm, I'm going to prune them back again, but I'll see how and when after I repot this. One other thing I wanted to point out when I planted this up, I built a muck berm on this side to give it some height. And all it really did was restrict me from using the entire pot for planting. I also had a road going up here, which I roughed out in muck, and it basically bisected the, um, uh, bisected the planting. Um, and I like the fact that there was a path in there, but I think I can do the same thing just with new bonsai soil and just building it up in the middle. All right, so it's gonna be a little messy on potting this, but that's the next step. I'm gonna try and do this so you can see what I'm doing. To get it out of a pot like this, as I've seen many people do, just kind of go around with a, a tool to loosen the entire planting. And this is my first attempt at repotting uh, a forest. This was done, I think it's been in here three or four years. And, you know, the trees are small. It's not something you know, that has been a problem. It's been growing nicely in this pot. So I've loosened it up. I'm going to turn it around the other way. Yeah, frankly, I don't know if I've loosened it up, but I'm going to turn it around the other way and try to use the leverage of the taller trees to lift it out. I am so jealous. I've seen this done. and it just seems to be magic. Comes out like a cake. I'm 
do I have roots protruding? I do, but they're little. They're, they're not, I could just pull them through. Let's see if it, if I can get it to fall out. Hmm. Do I need to do more digging? And see here I'm getting along the bottom. <clears throat> and that's what I need to do. This is such a wonderful tool. A spring steel palette knife. So well made. I'm going along the bottom now. You know, trying not to harm the roots, but create something I can lift, I can lift off. Uh, I'm, I'm hitting a uh, drainage screen, I'm sure. Okay, let's see. Can I do this? Or does anybody even really want to see this? It's coming. I can't believe it. I'm going to clean this methodically. I have a um, uh, a trough of water outside. Oh, this is good. This is good. I have a trough of water outside that I am going to. Clean the roots. I'm going to bare root. I'm going to clean the pot. And I'm going to put it right back in this pot. All right. So I'm once again fighting the uh, the noises of the neighborhood. So this was the thick muck in the back, and I'm going to try not to damage any of the roots that were growing through the muck. But what I want to do is utilize the pot better. And here it got pretty thick. And, you know, I've never really examined the root base on these, uh, on these trees. And I want to be real careful as I dig around them because I'm bare rooting these. I've got to separate them. That's the only way I'm going to improve this forest and you know keep the trees alive at the same time that would be very nice yeah see multiple root planes these trees in the back were all cuttings that had rooted you know, say I don't remember I may just have stuck them in One was definitely dead, this one, but we'll see. I'm always surprised by this tree. Jacarandas, I mean. And here was that walkway uh, or road that I just, you know, didn't want to make it out of regular bonsai soil. So I made it out of muck instead. All right, because of the noise and the fact that I'm not adding anything to what you're seeing, I'll go faster and you'll see exactly what I'm doing.
All right, so I've washed all the roots. Once again, I apologize for the noise. I'm sure that's a familiar sound in most neighborhoods. So I'm going to do root work on all of the trees. Try to get the best root possible, root base possible. Here's one that goes straight down from the trunk. So with that, I've established where the root base is. So this, let's see, does it have much associated with it? It does not. I'm going to take this entire section off right here. And that's it, the rest is profile. And like I said, this one's about the best root base of the bunch. You'll see. We've got some big problems ahead. Okay, that's it here. Nice, this one's a nice root base. Uh, I think I'll take this piece off right here. Yeah, very nice. Off to the side it goes. Next one, this is horrible. I don't know about these two big sides, but this root sticking up, I'll take that off. This one going straight down I'll take that off. That helped a lot. I'm going to take the harder ones off because the other ones might, they might be flexible enough to be pushed down. So what's holding it? This one right here. This one's going straight down. Some things crossing here, but do I care? That's holding it up there. I really should be taking this whole bottom part off, but that would leave me nothing. So, little profile. This curls around. This goes up. I'm going to take that root off. This one goes down. Take that off. This is pretty good. It can be up against the edge of a pot. So this is going to be one of my front trees. So I'm going to bring that forward pretty far. This died off, but this was not branch pruning per se. All right, let's see what's high up that can come off. That's high up. That's high up. There's a stub there. Okay, that's it for this route root pruning. Next. Oh, I remember seeing this one when I was washing. Okay. This root right here, it comes out. These were grown from seed. Comes out and this was, I guess, the tap root. So, can that whole thing come off? Oh my God. What do I lose? If that comes off, not this. 
I lose this whole thing. What does that leave me? Pretty meager root system. Do I try? Do I chance it? How about if I just have a funky root that's sticking up and I'll trim it down like here. So at least there's something to generate. I'll pull this one back around and maybe in the future, this root system will improve. <laughs> Don't know, but let's try that. So what did I say? Cut this here. Cut this here. This is growing down. This is growing down. Anything too high? Is that too high? Yeah, that's too high. All right. This is the root system I'm left with. What do I do with it? Can I bring this around? I probably could. So let me do a profile prune. This is scary. While I have quite a lot of experience with the jacarandas pruning the tops and getting amazing regrowth. I haven't done any root pruning yet. This is a first. All right, I'm going to go into fast mode for the rest of the trees. Hope you enjoy that. Okay, here's a glimpse at the roots that I've taken off today. I'm always scared when I do this. I hope I've done the right thing for these trees. All I'm sure of now is that they're going to have a lot more space to grow. And remember, one died. I've prepared the pot, and I'll come back when I'm ready to plant. All right, well, both sides of this mica pot have issues, but this is the best side. This side will clean up the best, I think. So I've got the five largest trees put aside, and then there's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, five more that are medium sized, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got 17 trees all together with one dying. All right, so let's put a base layer of soil in the pot and position the first two trees. I'm wearing a mask because this is very dusty. I've got a lot of large pumice this year. I don't know if I like that or not. Let's get positioning. I've got a spray bottle handy. I'll get the two largest of the larger trees. All right, so I want to make the best of those cuts that I've made. drive one forward. I'm 
maybe more like this, which means I gotta turn a little bit more away from this side. All right, let's start with this one. And this one, nice and straight. Maybe right like that to get this one even more forward. The idea is to get a little bit more of a root base this time. A little bit more of a root base showing. Nice and straight, nice and straight. One is more forward than the other. My two main trees. Next two. Okay. All right, now this one, since it's shorter, but it's reasonably thick, maybe that one wants to be here. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. That one wants to be here. Let's get that planted. Rotated to take advantage of the fact that it has bifurcated in that fashion. I've got the large scar in the back. Both of those trunks have taken, and that's reasonably straight. Yeah, I'm liking that a lot. Good placement. I'll straighten these all out with a little bit more perfection at the end. I like that. The last of the larger trees. I'm going to put right here. I like the spacing already. If you remember my edict, you got to be able to get your hands in there. Otherwise, maintenance is a nightmare. I'll be working those all in to get some stability. I don't want these things moving around too much. We'll see if we can get the illusion of density toward the back because I've got a lot more trees to put in. Good placement from the front. All right, the largest of the next grouping is this one. I have a dead branch here. Might as well take that off now. Right there would be good.
I'm going to place the others in fast motion and we'll come back and take a look. You can critique how I've done. And that's where we are so far. Got a lot to do here. So here's the planting redone. It was a little tricky. I think this tree I have supported by some stones here to keep it straight. Everything else is the way it's going to be. Some of these trees in the back, unfortunately, have no foliage at all. This one's dying back to there. I'm just hoping they recover at all. The back looks a little monotonous. I filled it in with muck and uh, moss spores on top so we grow some moss and this is just open here so that's this planting my jacaranda forest needs some recovery I'm just gonna leave it in the greenhouse keep it nice and moist and hopefully that will be it so thank you for keeping me company in my backyard